Okay, hello. This is about to be the most random lifestyle video ever on my channel. Um, basically, I ordered a bunch of stuff kind of recently for a bunch of different reasons and um, I talked about it on stream and people decided that they like really wanted to see that so I decided to turn it into a YouTube video. I'll try some stuff on. I'll link obviously the websites and you can see what I bought recently because people wanted that. Okay, so the first pile of stuff that I'm going to go through is my new EDC stuff that I bought. So I bought this from the Lumi shop and one of my EDC outfits is going to be this very like all white, feathery, sparkly, pearly. The first EDC that I went to, I had, it was my first rave ever and I didn't really know what rave fashion was like and so I just bought the stuff that I saw on Instagram. But this time I'm, I'm really trying to do something fun and something that I really like. So I got this hat off of Etsy. So it's handmade, which is really cool. It's beautiful. It's gonna match my whole outfit on the inside. There's like these little, this little switch and the hat has, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them in the sun, but it actually has lights strung around the top of it. So when I put it on, it's like a captain's hat or like a yak conductor hat, which is, um, <laughs> I don't know why it's so random. It's like a really big part of rave fashion. And I remember the first time that I really started getting into like looking at rave fashion. I saw these and I thought they were really cool. And I was like, oh, but I would never wear one. And then I'm in my point where screw it, I'm gonna wear one. So I also got from the same shop a two piece like glitter set, um, like a glitter bra and glitter skirt that hasn't come in the mail yet, but I'll be wearing that with this. So you just have to imagine that. So the first accessory to go with it is this fan. If you've ever been to a rave, you know it gets really hot, um, but this, this is more of just an accessory for me. I'll probably take a picture with it and then like not use it again because it easy that night. So this will go with it, it matches the feather on the hat. And then I got these um, crystal garters to go with my outfit. And it's kind of hard for me to figure out exactly what everything is gonna look like right now because I don't have the main piece. Like these are all the accessories. I don't have the main pieces of my outfits, but these will go on my thighs and they'll kind of sit like that. So I think it's all really pretty and I'm super excited. And so this is my first set of shopping stuff. This is gonna be EDC. Okay, um, I moved my camera around a little bit because I noticed that I was chopping off the top of my head in the prior parts of the video. Um, I'm sitting on the edge of my bed so I could be in the sun. I'm soaking up some vitamin D while I'm doing this video. Okay, so we went over my rave stuff. Okay, so the next thing is actually not something that I purchased myself, um, but it was something that was gifted to me by Coughs on Instagram. Um, they have a brand called LonelyStar.us. So they sent me their 3D Stargirl keychain and their gaming mouse pad, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's always really nice for me to meet other creators, and I was just flattered that they wanted to send me something. So it has this really cute little keychain that came in it. Hopefully. You guys can see this and it's in focus and everything like that. Really cute little keychain. It came with a sticker, which I like to put on the back of my PC, so I'll probably stick that on there. And then a new mouse pad, which I think I can really use. My setup is super boring. Like my streaming setup is just all black um, and I don't have anything fun. So I'll probably switch this one out. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. It's kind of like old AIM like messages and stuff like that. So that's really cute. And it has the mascot again and it's pink, which is fun. Um, yeah. So I'll probably switch out my current mouse pad for this one just to try something new and spice up my setup a little bit. I wish I could do like a whole setup revamp. I'm just really lazy, so I won't. So that's what I got from Lonely Star US. So thank you so much for sending that to me. Um, sorry to my editors and to everybody who's watching this because I've moved my camera yet again. Again, I'm new to this. This is supposed to be a really laid back, chill video. I don't even have any makeup on. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just here to show you the stuff that I bought so I can finally put my clothes and makeup away and, and not feel this dry. I literally got this stuff in the mail like days ago and I keep telling myself, no, Sydney, you need to film this video. So you're gonna sit down and you're gonna do it and you're gonna upload it and you have to do it on a deadline because I would like to wear my new clothing. So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys, it comes with a disclaimer, okay? I'm not a huge fan of the Kardashians, but I've just heard such amazing things about Skims and I just really, really wanted to try their product, see what the hype is all about. I think I've had a really hard time finding um, undergarments that I think that were comfortable and worked for me and I felt good in, especially something like when I go to try and buy a nude bra and the nude is white um, and I'm 
So if you have recommendations for that kind of thing, definitely let me know. I would love to check out some other brands versus like a pair of boy shorts um, because I like to wear, I don't know, boy shorts, they're comfy. So this is the color Bone, um, but to me this looks really yellow. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just the lighting, but this looks really uh, sort of like a pale yellow, but Bone to me is white. Also, everything comes in these little baggies. The cool thing about the bags is they say, I am not plastic, I am compostable, made from plants, I will biodegrade in your home compost and in an industrial compost facility. And I definitely try to live as sustainably as possible or be conscious about sustainability. So I think it's really cool that they did that with their brand. So that's a plus one for me. This one is just like a plain bra. So this is what I'm talking about when I say nude. Like I really want nude that matches my skin tone. I think that this is pretty close. I mean, it's better than me wearing something that's way lighter than I am that you can see through a shirt. And this is in the color Sienna. So it's just like an everyday sort of bralette. The quality feels really nice. I love that it has the adjustable straps because that's super important. And yeah, I like it. Not, not mad about it. Of course, I haven't tried any of this actually on yet, so that's a different story. But first impressions, I can give you. Brought the same bra, but in black. The color is onyx, not black though, because we can't think simply anymore. Then I just have more underwear, and this is also in the color sienna, and more underwear. <laughs> this one, however, instead of being like the cotton stuff, is the seamless, the seamless thing. So, I don't know, sometimes these are a total pain in the butt, literally, and sometimes these are really nice, uh, so I would have to wear this and, and actually see. I got, oh yes, boxers. I wear boxers all the time. Um, I wear boxers under sweats, I wear boxers to bed, I wear boxers quite constantly. Um, and so this is gonna be a pair of boxers from them in the color marble. Um, and they look, they look fine, they feel fine, they're soft. Honestly, first impression of these is these are not like, like I don't touch them and look at them and be like, oh my gosh, this is the best pair of underwear I've ever seen in my life. Um, so far I'm getting nothing special. I would, I would really need to try them on. If anything, I think I'm gonna be really happy about the bras, um, but the underwear, underwhelming um, on first impression. Uh, next we have an order from, this is from Fenty Beauty. You guys know I absolutely love Brianna and will buy anything she makes. <laughs> I use Fenty's eyeliner, I use Fenty's concealer, I use Fenty foundation as well. Already I've used some of their blush, which I'll be honest, wasn't really my favorite, but I wanted to try some new products today. I bought directly from the Fenty site. It's carried at Sephora, but if I can like support directly, I prefer to do that. Okay, so the whole reason I ended up buying anything from Fenty at all actually was because I saw this, um, which is new, and I wanted to check it out. And then I was like, well, I might as well look at the rest of the makeup and stuff that they have because maybe there's something I want. And then I spent like $300. So this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Sunstalker Face Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. Um, and it has, okay, so like here's the highlight. We've got fat, Fat glass, but pH, like we're in the 90s. Gold car, India Sun, Private Island, Caramel Cutie, Coco Naughty, and Thick Mint. Those are the colors. You get to the actual palette, um, and it comes in this really pretty, like, chromey thing. It says Fenty Beauty. Um, it also, oh, it's a mirror. It's a, ooh, okay. Wow, it's really pretty. So when you open it up, here are the highlighters, and Okay, disclaimer, I am not a huge makeup person, so if I say some stuff wrong, you can get on me about that. When you open it up, obviously corresponding, so these are the highlighters. Oh, and there's a mirror on the inside. Okay, this is nice, this is nice, I like this. Um, it's just unfortunate that it's really big and I wouldn't be carrying it around. I'm gonna swatch this. Like, I've definitely seen that in YouTube videos, and so I'm gonna do it too. And then everybody's gonna think I know what the fuck I'm talking about even when I don't. Hopefully the sun, is helping. I'm gonna break my wrist. The first one up here is the fat glass and the second one is gold card. Um, I think I will find myself using gold card a lot more because this one is like a little light for me. This one I think goes with my skin tone more. So I'll probably be using that. Next we have India Sun, which I would maybe use as like an eyeshadow base as along with Private Island. Uh, and then Caramel Cutie and 
mm, Coco Naughty and Thick Mint. So wait, what is this supposed to do? So technically I could use this as a bronzer on my face, but the, when I'm looking at this palette, I really think I'm gonna use it on my eyes mostly and then like the highlighter on my face. But I mean, this could even be an eyeshadow too. But the consistency of it feels very eyeshadowy and less like something I would put on my face. Um, again, I would have to really try it, but that's sort of first impressions of this. So it's cute overall, really like it. Next, this is the Fenty Beauty Body Lava Body Luminizer. Okay. <gasps> so pretty. The packaging is insane. And like, I look at this and I want to drink it um, or bathe in it. I'm not quite you sure. What? This is really pretty. And it's just something that you would put on your body if like, say I'm going out and I want to look sparkly and pretty and whatever. So I take this and it has a little cap. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand so you guys can see it. So when you first drop it on, it's like that. And then we'll go like this. Ooh, ah. And we'll just smear it around. As you can see, it makes me look fucking like a glazed donut. I look like a glazed sparkly donut. So now this is not something that I would wear all the time. But say I was on vacation in Tulum and I wanted to look like a radiant sparkling goddess, I would probably put this on. Next, this is Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer and Plumper in the color Lemon Lava. A lot of the times lip plumpers give you like the tingles in your lips and I know a lot of people don't like that. So let's see if this one does. Okay, I don't, if you've never used Rihanna's stuff, um, it smells really good. Do my lips look plumper? I'm not. Am I getting tingles? I don't think I am. I don't think I'm getting tingles. It's tingly, barely, but it is tingly, which is good. Tingly makes me feel like it's working. So these are the Fenty Icon Semi-Matte semi -matte Lipsticks. I've bought one of these before, but I didn't realize that it needs like an applicator. Um, and this is just to reduce waste so that I'm not buying this big plastic chunk every time. I'm just buying the lipstick filling. Uh, I just didn't read and did it really fast. Um, so yay again for sustainability, uh, nay on me not reading the instructions. So when you get it, it looks like this. It's, yeah. So I was carrying this around and obviously I lost it. Anyway, um, I got this color. This color is She a CEO. It's a little cringe. It's a little cringe, but it was pretty. So then I got this one. I guess I should probably put it on, but I think it's gonna look wiggity whack without any makeup. So I'm gonna go like this. Ooh, yeah, the tingles. I got the tingles in my lip. And I'm just gonna, even though this is not the color of my lips, um, this is the brown. Really pretty. I think I'm gonna really like this one on. Um, so I'm a fan so far. And then this time I did it right. And I bought the applicator. Uh, cool thing about that, again, reduces waste. Other cool thing is um, you can get it in multiple colors. So I picked matte black because that's just my style. But it's really pretty, I like it. Again, packaging is, is really good with Fenty Beauty. So now I'm thinking, does it go like this and then like this? No, so I'm... No, I was gonna say, I think I broke it. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie. I'm either stupid or not doing this right. I took this thing and I put it in there, right? Because that would make the most sense. Okay, moving on. Um, because I spent a certain amount of money, I got a free gift. Woo, love free shit. This one is the Fenty Perfume. Um, I'm not much of a perfume wearer. I just smell fantastic all the time. But I opted into getting it anyways because I'm like, maybe I could be converted, who knows? So this is just a sample, so it's like really small, whatever. Um, okay, let's, let's spritz this. Yeah, I mean, it smells like when you walk through Macy's when you're a kid and you're like holding mom's hand and it smells like a bunch of perfumes and then you feel like you gotta sneeze and then it kind of hurts and it also sort of smells like a grandma. I'm just not a perfume gal because I feel like all perfume smells like that. And why would I smell like that when all of the product that I use on my body and in my hair smells like coconuts and like flowers and apples and like really fresh. Not a huge fan, but I'm also not a consumer of perfume, so like take my opinion with a grain of salt. Lastly, I wanted to ditch all of my makeup brushes because they're gross and old, and also I think I bought a pack of like 30 makeup brushes for $10, so like they're not good brushes. So I bought a bunch of Fenty, mm, Fenty brushes, which is exciting. 
Artistry Pro Complexion Essentials from Fenty. So I bought one of those and then I bought two separate that I think that I would need um, for the way that I do my makeup. So the first one that I got is the Powder Puff Setting Brush. Um, so I do use a powder when I set my makeup for stream. Um, I don't always because I like dewy looks like during the day to day, but when I'm streaming, I like to set it with powder. So again, packaging tier one, A++++, it's really beautiful. It comes with like a little shield. Never mind. you have to be smarter than the plastic wrap. This is the brush, it's really cute. Um, I like the color of the, the, the this thing. I like that it says setting so that when I inevitably forget what I bought this brush for and I go, oh my God, what do I do with this? Um, it tells me. So this is like makeup brushes for dummies 101. Thank you, Rihanna. It's really soft um, and it's a really pretty pink color. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. This one is the full bodied foundation brush. So I actually uh, put on foundation with a makeup sponge right now, but I've seen it done with a makeup brush and I used to do it with a makeup brush. So like maybe I could be converted. Again, same thing. It says foundation, which is nice makeup for dummies. I don't really understand what this brush is supposed to do. I don't really know. We'll give it a try though. Next one, this one is cheek hugging highlight brush. Now this I've seen. That looks like it would, you know, hug my cheek. Yeah, that's nice, you know, and then you kind of just like sculpt your highlighter on. So I think this will be really nice. I think I like this brush. Most of my brushes, I don't think I'm using correctly. That's why I freaking love that it tells me exactly what it is. Then the last of the artistry complexion pack that I bought is the precision concealer brush. This one's for your concealer. I use Fenty concealer, so that's cool. Um, it's a smaller one. I put so much concealer under my eyes because I have really dark under eyes and yeah so that'll be that'll be cool to have this it's a, it's a brush I don't really know what to tell you okay these ones I bought separately because they were things that I think that I needed in my makeup kit that I don't currently have this one is the all over eyeshadow brush so I know people like go in between brushes they have a brush for blending and they have a brush for putting on the the sparkly stuff. Yeah, I do none of that. I use the same brush for everything and then wash it in between uses. Uh, and so I bought the one that said all over because that sounds like my style. Um, so this one, yeah, it says eyeshadow, simple, to the point. It looks like my other one that I use all over the place. So maybe I wasn't doing it as wrong as I thought I was. All right, and then I got, um, this is the last makeup brush and last thing from Fenty Beauty. This is the Tapered blending brush. I bought it because it sounded like important. It's fuzzy and it says blending. So I think I've got what I need to be a, ma a makeup pro now. Thank you, Rihanna. Anyways, yeah, I ended up with all of that when literally all I wanted to buy was this. She fucking got me. Got, got me. Last but not least, uh, I ordered from Jaded London, which is one of my favorite uh, fashion brands to buy from online. They recently did a pop-up in LA, which I didn't have the chance to get out to, but they dropped these things called parachute pants. And I know I don't post as much as I want to about how I dress, um, but I am really into streetwear and fashion and things like that. And I have, I wear like lots of cute outfits and then I don't take pictures in them because I'm shy and then I never show you guys. But one of my favorite like outfit trends uh, or just like things that I've sort of always worn is like baggy pants and a tight top. Um, and they dropped these parachute pants, which I just fell in love with. So I bought two pairs of uh, parachute pants in different colors. So I'm gonna show you those. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them out right here. I'm gonna do a little try on over there and then my editors are gonna do some editing magic and it's gonna be really cohesive and make total sense. But I'm gonna do this part first and pray that they know what they're doing. Okay, so this is the, wow. First impression, this is so much softer than I expected it to be. This is a parachute pant in brown. Their tag is like a credit card. This is interesting. I mean, I like it. It's cool. It's it's just like a little extra thought. Um, I bought these in a size small. You'll be able to see how they fit. Um, they are really, really soft, which I'm happy about. They're supposed to be oversized. I know you're looking at this and it's like small, but yeah, it's a button zipper and drawstring situation. So I got one pair in brown. I got another pair in ivory. 
Um, cause like, like I have like true white pants, but they're jeans and I don't ever really wear them. And obviously this is like a cream or a off white, but I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I also didn't have a brown pant. So I'm glad that I have that now too. Note to self, maybe a little see-through in the sun. So I'd have to be careful about my underwear choices. However, I just bought nude underwear from Skims. So I was really thinking ahead here. And then this one was kind of like, I went to the site only to buy the parachute pants saw a couple other cute things, decided to pick them up, but they're not like, it's not what I went there for, you know? But I got it anyway, so I'm gonna just show you and try it on. This top is called Parchment Slash Detail Crop Top. Again, I like crop tops, I like tight tops with baggy pants, so yeah. It looks a little silly right now, but on the model it was really cute, so I'm hoping it's gonna be really cute on. But yeah, it has a slash detail in the front. I got this in a size eight, which is a UK eight, so it's like a small or a four uh, in the US. Um, yeah, USA 4, EU 36, UK 8. So that's that, I'm gonna try that on. And then lastly, um, I realized I never buy myself swimsuits. It's just not something that I go out of my way to buy, which is funny because I live in LA and like am using pool and hot tub facilities frequently. But anyways, I found this cute swimsuit and I was like, you know what, heck it, I'm gonna buy it. So this is the ruffle edge bikini top and bottom in leaf print. Uh, I'm not usually a ruffle edge person because it kind of sometimes makes me feel like I'm wearing a baby diaper, but this one was just really cute to me, so I got it anyways. And it is literally, it's, it's leaves. It's like, it's printed like fall leaves. The strings are the string that you would use in a drawstring, so they feel really sturdy. Like you can see they're stretchy and it, it's, it is, it's like a drawstring. So a lot of the times my strings come undone, uh, so I'm really happy to see this kind of string because I don't think that this would go anywhere. So this is the bottom and then the top is just a triangle top with the same set of string. Um, so that also makes me really happy. And I'm curious how the heck this is interesting. Okay, yeah, it's an interesting top. Is this the top or is this the... No, well, we'll try it on. Okay, so I'll see you over there. For the try on part but first i'm going to film the outro so that i don't move the camera back and forth oh my god i'm getting this thing okay so this is the parachute pant and the dicey slicey top that i was talking about the top is definitely you have to think about how you would wear a bra with this or pasties or whatever the pants i absolutely freaking love they're really comfortable and um I think that they're really flattering and so with a top like this that hits my waist here I would probably wear these low rise and then let's say I just throw on a pair of my cactus jacks keep it a neutral type of thing and it would just let me grab my dog welcome crash <laughs> um, I could even grab my Tomei basketball bag um, if I did this, I'd probably ditch the cactus jacks and make the bag the focal point and maybe grab like my ones. Style it like this. Now, if I were to wear a different type of top, say something that's not as low on the body, maybe something that's a little more cropped, which I do like to do, um, I would probably wear these pants higher up. But I really like the relaxed, like low waist fit um, that I have here. So, really happy with this one. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me on this one because I have a lot of things I don't love about it. Um, first of all, this bikini top is not super flattering on my body type. Um, I think I have a little bit of a broader shoulder and for every reason this bikini top is like not doing good things for that. If I were to be on vacation somewhere, I could wear these parachute pants kind of in a lower, like low hip fashion where you can see the bikini bottom, which I think is really cute. And then I just have like my little Gucci sandals on. I'm a general fan of this look as long as my shoulders are covered. Uh, so the bikini top is cute. Um, again, I was super right about the strings. Like these are not going anywhere, which makes me feel really good. And I love the pants. I think they're awesome. I think one thing that I didn't mention about the pants the last time I had them on is that they have a drawstring at the bottom as well. So you can like, I just ripped it. I really think the pants shouldn't rip when you try and draw the drawstring, uh, but maybe I pulled too hard, not quite sure. Um, but these can taper in if you want. Good thing I know how to sew. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I would, that's how I would wear this.
overall happy with my Jaded London order, for sure. Okay, so I actually really enjoyed making this video um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching it. It was really casual content where I just feel like I'm talking to my chat even though you guys aren't here right now, but um, maybe you can leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this type of lifestyle video. Obviously, like, I don't have a crazy setup. I'm literally just sitting here on my bed showing you guys what I have. Um, but if it's something that you like, then I'm, I'm definitely interested in like doing more of this type of sort of laid back, just me and you chatting uh, YouTube content. Um, and definitely wanna do more fashion content and stuff like that in the future as well. So I'll make sure that everything, like all the sites are linked down below so that if you are interested in getting any of the stuff that I got, you can get. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this kind of content and what you think of the video in the comments. That would make me very happy. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and smash that notification bell. God, this shit is really cringe. Just, I don't know. I'll see you on Twitch.